Hey guys, what's going on? Dan here. We are at the 2018 Boat Sport and Travel Show. Uh, just getting started. We got here like a few minutes ago and already found something cool. I haven't seen a lot of these. I know they exist, but this one is actually a toy hauler that is not a fifth wheel, which you don't see a lot of. Let's check this out. Dry weight of 8,446, sleep six, 20,985. Oh, sorry. Okay. So coming in, the bathroom with a big shower. I like the floor in here. Nice size bedroom. His and hers closet, space up above, which is nice kitchen area large couch I'm guessing you put the TV up there so the kitchen's smaller and I mean I should say the living room smaller but there's your toy hauler component a nice big patio this is uh this is really cool like I said I don't see a lot of the toy haulers that aren't fifth wheels Ultralight Grand Touring uh, model 2400BH. I do not see a weight on this one. Uh, no, I'll have to find the weight out. Let's check this out. She walk in. Get the bedroom with the his and hers closets. You got you cannot pass through between the beds, but you got doors on both sides. Sleeping over there. A lot of counter space in this one for being a smaller unit. Get the standard refrigerator, standard stove, microwave. Get the double bunks. So I guess this would actually be perfect for a family of four with some small kids. You actually have a tub. You need to bathe the children or the dogs. Medicine cabinet. It's actually a cute model. It's a little dark, but uh, I like this model. I'll post it down below. Found this model. When you talk about a large, large model, so you've got all this kitchen space here, which is awesome. You get your refrigerator on the other side, and this giant pantry. Really cool. I really like it what Cougar's doing. This is several Cougar fifth wheels that I've seen. Dinette. I love the living room. Huge fireplace, love it. Big TV, the TV actually goes down when you're traveling, which is cool. Some comfy couch areas. Huge open air, or like open bathroom and stuff out. Got uh, the typical control panels and max air wireless. Uh, you got your remote. Grab it from the wrong side. Oh, your hookups, switches. Yep. I like the 
sink. All right. Nice big step there to sit on. Big bedroom. It's like closet space, but this is washer and dryer prep. Yep. I know my models. Yeah, definitely a cool one. Checking out the Puma 32FBIS. It's got a large outdoor kitchen with the microwave, refrigerator, pull out stove. Love my steps. All right, so you walk in. I like the kitchen area. It's like you're cute, rustic looking. Uh, cabinet space below the island, cabinet space over there, some cabinet space below the stove. You've got the bunk beds back here. Your outdoor kitchen is obviously on the other side of this. This is cute. You could even probably take a couple of these out and make it one bunk on one side and the other side could be like an office. Get a uh, table and chairs. you got USB ports in here. Walking back, not a huge fan of the TV layout, but I'm also not that horribly opposed to it. Personal preference. Nice big bathroom, nice big shower. And lastly, the bed. I do like the little cabinet you have over here, closet, and the door to the outside. Hey, so I haven't seen another model like this one before, so I thought I would show it. It's an Outback Ultralight, has an outdoor kitchen. It's the 210 URS, and it's only coming in at 4,500 pounds, sleeps seven. Check this out though, right when you come in, you have the double box and a little closet drawer area. Straight ahead is your bathroom. A small bathroom that you could change in there and then look at this this is what I thought was so weird about this layout so everything's kind of laid out on the side get your refrigerator stuff here but the bed is actually on a slide so I can see that kind of being a pain in the butt because you'd have to put your cushions and stuff down every time before you roll this in so kind of like those pull out pop-up beds are but obviously this is uh, an actual slide or fifth wheel or not fifth wall, I'm sorry. So yeah, 